a Ford person, you know, buying and selling old Ford cars. And I don't know why, I just think I connected with the brand because it always meant performance and my family was pretty connected to the brand. So the two cars are is my 65, a 64 USR C car. It's a 289 Cobra that was raced by the company. And um, it's a really special car. They only made six of those cars. And I bought it from a friend who passed away. He was, you know, dying of cancer. And he wanted me to have the car so that I could get it back in uh, racing uh, fitness. So the last time it raced was Road America in 1964. It was crashed. And last year, last summer, uh, we were able to get it back and I raced it for the first time at Road America. His family came up from Chicago to see the car race. And it just felt good to uh, have the car racing where it did more than 40 years ago and with his family there and to compete in the car, you know, which is really what it was designed to be. This car that really took on the Ferraris and beat them. Um, it was a pretty special moment. I think the second one is my 34 five-window coupe. It was built by a high school student in Santa Ana, California. I bought it from him uh, when he was in his 70s. And it's, uh, you know, he raced for money on the street. Uh, it has a supercharged flathead and it was very, it was kind of the performance car of its day. Um, and it's unpainted. I asked him why, he said he didn't want to spend the money on the paint. He'd rather spend it on the motor because he'd make more money racing it. And um, I guess what I love about that car is it's kind of an enormous car, but my wife and I can sit next to each other and she's kind of forced to sit next to me. And, um, you know, she calls it the dirt bag car, but I feel like I'm 16 again, going out on that first date. And I'm with kind of my dream girl. And uh, every time I drive that car, we're kind of forced to be together and the shifter's kind of awkwardly placed and all those great things happen in that car.